Hello everybody, and welcome to some more horrific news. Okay, looks like we're getting some more Resident Evil happenings going on, so I thought we'd take a look. Resident Evil creator Shinji Mikami is reunited with Chris Redfield. 28 years since the original Resident Evil, Shinji Mikami, also of Resident Evil 4 and The Evil Within, reunites with Chris Redfield and Barry Burton. There's the cartoonishly muscular Chris Redfield from Resident Evil 5, and the towering version from Resident Evil Village. But for me, the star's frontman exists in one form and one form only, the slick-haired, zippo-owning, live-action Chris Redfield from the original survival horror game. It's almost 30 years since Shinji Mikami, who would later direct Resident Evil 4 and The Evil Within, introduced us to the world of Umbrella, and the iconic characters from Resident Evil 1 have undergone a lot of changes since. But even now, with whispers on the wind with Resident Evil 9 or maybe a Code Veronica remake. The Herald of Housebound Horror hasn't forgotten his original cast. In a seriously wonderful new video, the actors behind Chris Redfield, Barry Burton and Rebecca Chambers pay tribute to Mikami Sam. With the original Resident Evil easily available on PC now, thanks to the GOG re-release and rumours swirling about the possibility of Resident Evil 9, it's the ideal time to look back on the horror game series roots and earliest days. At Gamescom, we spoke to Mikami about his upcoming projects and why he doesn't want to return to survival horror, but just because he's moved on, that doesn't me, Mikami has forgotten the game that first made him one of the world's most esteemed designers and directors. In the original Resident Evil, the first time we see the stars, they appear as real actors in live action cutscenes. Chris Redfield is played by Charlie Krakowski, Barry Burton is brought to life by Greg Smith, Albert Wesker is originated by Eric Paris, and Rebecca Chambers is played by an actor who simply goes by Linda. Their performances and Resident Evil's accompanying production design bring the first game to vivid, energetic life. It has the same aesthetic and tone as a Spatterhouse B movie. Now, a full 28 years since Resident Evil 1 was released, his entire cast returns to say thank you to Mikami. In an interview with the Residents of Evil, a YouTube channel that recently brought us the excellent short film The Keeper's Dairy, Chris Gasky, Smith, Paris and Linda all share messages with Kami. It's a wonderful moment where the entire Resident Evil series seems to come full circle. You can watch it below. As always folks, the link to this article will be in the description so you can go and check it out. If that makes you nostalgic for classic Resident Evil, try some of the best zombie games or maybe go back to the past with the best old games you can still play on PC. You can also follow us on Google News for daily PC gamers news, reviews and guides or grab our PCGN deals tracker to net yourself some bargain. I think that is it. Oh, there we go. Right. I think I'll have a wee check of that out uh, once I've done this article. There you go. Um, There was a video the, what do you call it, the Critical Drinker did, where they tried to find out what happened to Linda. And basically she did this one thing and then never, she never actually wanted to be an actress and didn't want to be famous. So she kind of vanished under the radar and people have tried to track her down, but she's refused interviews and all sorts. So I think this is a big thing, her popping back up again. I think I only put that video out recently. So yeah, yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's also nice that Mikami's moved on. He hasn't just stuck in the same rut. He obviously felt that he's given enough to the horror survival genre, he can't really do much more with it, so he's trying different things. That's cool as well. There's nothing worse than somebody just gets stuck in the one sort of one note and they destroy their own legacy, if that makes sense. So, fair play to him. But it's nice to see people looking back. Yeah, if you've seen my gameplay, <laughs> the put <laughs> the made Resident Evil, the original PS1 version available on PC, the, the transferred over. But oh my god, it's a fun game, but the mechanics are horrendous. I mean, it's more me swearing at the thing going, stab him, stab him, do this, do that, why aren't you doing whatever? And oh, fixed cameras. Fixed cameras are a nightmare because you're you're moving forwards, but then the next scene you have to move backwards to move forwards, etc. you know, because of the way the fixed camera works. <laughs> but all games have to start somewhere. But there you go. Let me know what you think. And until next time, keep up to date with the channel, do the type of clicky things, and remember to keep it creepy, keep it horrific.